everyone, it's Mr Bartle here and welcome to Wednesday's home learning video. Now today we're going to split our lesson into two parts. The first part we're going to learn all about the Arctic. That's where Tom the Great Explorer visits in our storybook this week. And then in the second part we're going to think about five things that you would like to take on your own adventure to the North Pole. Off we go. OK, here is a polar bear and the polar bear's name is Peter. He says, my name is Peter and I'm a polar bear. I live in the Arctic where it is very, very cold. I'm going to tell you some things about the Arctic and show you some pictures of what it is like to live in the Arctic. I hope everyone is wrapped up and ready to go on our very own Arctic adventure. Now this is a map of the world showing where the Arctic, showing the Arctic where I live. So the white part in the middle is where Peter the polar bear lives. That's the North Pole. That's at the very top of Earth. And Peter's asking, why do you think the Arctic is coloured white? Well done if you said that it was because the Arctic is full of lots of snow and ice. Now, oh. Let's just go back. If it's full of snow and ice, what do you think the weather might be like? Do you think it's going to be really hot or really cold? Let's find out, shall we? Let's go to the next slide. And here are some pictures of the Arctic to help you imagine what it would feel like if you were there. Now, we've seen a bit of snow and ice in this country recently. But I don't think it would be as cold as it would be if you were to go to the Arctic. Look how cold that picture looks. And it's and Peter says, did you notice how blue and clear the sky is? And that's because it means it's very, very cold. And Peter's also saying that there are hardly any plants in the plants in the Arctic because it's too cold for them to grow. Now, in this country, we have lots of flower, lots of plants and flowers growing, especially in the next few weeks when we start to turn into spring. But in the Arctic, because it's so cold, hardly any plants or flowers or trees grow because it's just so cold and there's lots of ice and snow everywhere. And the ice floats on the water in the ocean in the Arctic as well. And there is some other ice we also see in the ocean. And does anybody know what this is called? Now, Peter's just about to tell us this is an iceberg. And it's a very, very big piece of ice which has broken off and is now just floating in the ocean. And Peter's saying, I've taken some pictures of some of the other animals that also live here in the Arctic with me. Now, I wonder if you know any of the names of the pictures that you can see. Maybe you could chat to your grown up and have a look at the pictures and work out what animals you can see. I can see an arctic fox, I can see a polar bear, I can see a killer whale, I can see a baby seal and an arctic hare. Now what do you think those animals have in common? Look closely at the pictures, do you notice anything that's all the same? Now four out of five of those animals are all what colour? That's right, they're white and they're white so they blend into the background of the snow. Now this is a picture of my friend Freddy and Freddy is an arctic fox. He has deep thick fur which helps to keep him nice and warm.
And here is a photo of my friend Holly. Do you know what animal she is? She looks a bit like a rabbit, but she is actually a hare. And hares are bigger than rabbits. And just like Freddy the fox, she also has thick fur to keep her really warm. And this is my friend Sammy. And Sammy is a seal and Sammy swims in the ice cold ocean and also likes to come and lay in the snow. And this is Warren, Peter's friend. And Warren is a whale and he lives in the icy cold ocean too. But sometimes he likes to jump out just like in this picture here. And here is a picture of Peter's mommy and brother, Paul, and sister, Poppy. And that should give you a big clue as to what animal they are. Do you know what they are? That's right, they're polar bears too. Now, Peter's saying that all of those animals have thick white fur. And why do you think it's good to have thick white fur in the Arctic? That's right, it keeps them nice and warm in the freezing weather. And it also helps them hide in the snow so no one can see them. Now, did you notice that there weren't any people of any of the pictures that you have seen so far? Why do you think there are no people in the pictures? You may be thinking because it's too cold in the Arctic. And that we've, as we mentioned earlier, it's too cold for people and it's also too cold for plants, which means not a lot of food grows there for people to eat. So people can't really stay there because they wouldn't have any food to grow and eat. But we sometimes get visitors at the Arctic and scientists like to visit so they can learn more about the Arctic and what happens there. And sometimes people use foxes to pull their sledges across the deep, the deep snow. So there are no cars or no roads you have to use a different way of getting around. And instead of going on a bus or a train or a bike, people in the Arctic use foxes or dogs to pull their sledge. And Peter finishes with saying, I like to roll around in the snow. What do you like to play in the snow? So think back to when we had snow a few weeks ago. Did you like to roll around in the snow just like Peter? Or did you like to do something else? I hope you enjoyed that everyone and now it's on to our second part of our lesson and this is where I want you to think about five things that you would take if you were going to the Arctic and that's your daily task for today. So take a picture of five things or draw a picture of five things and upload it onto tapestry for us to see and have a think about what you would like to take. Now five things that I would like to take are my coat, I would like to take my phone. I would like to take my favourite teddy. I would like to take my blanket and I'd like to take a big flask of hot chocolate. Those are the five things that I would like to take with me. I would like to know what are the five things that you would like to take with you on your very own Arctic adventure. So enjoy the task and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.